everyone. I did something to my back, or not necessarily my back, but like my neck back muscle. I don't, I don't even know what I did, but it does not feel good. I <clears throat> have had a kink in my neck maybe for about a week. It was going away and then I think I just slept weird last night. My cat was on me and when my cat sleeps with me, I sometimes I get in these really weird positions and I'll wake up with like a kink in my neck. And that happened last night and I woke up with a really bad kink in my neck. And when I went to go put up my hair, I something happened and it hurts so bad that I had to leave work because it literally hurts to walk. Like if I'm walking for a long time, I don't know, something goes on back there and it just is so painful. So I went to CVS and I got um, Tiger Balm and then I got heating pads. So I put the Tiger Balm on which is helping a little and then I have a heating pad on but the heating pad has adhesive in it and I'm kind of allergic to adhesive so I have a feeling I'm going to have a red rash after I take it off. The heating pad actually feels so nice. It still doesn't feel great but I think that the heating pad is actually helping it a lot. That's where I'm at. I have so much prepping to do and I can barely move so that's wonderful. I really want to set up my prints because I'm kind of having a dilemma on how I want to set up my booth. I have an eight foot table and I'm going to insert a picture of what I did at the last craft fair that I did which worked really well but I only had one rack for my prints and I put that rack on the table. I think I might not bring that rack and then bring, if I can move, <laughs> this rack back here to put my prints on somehow. So I have more room on the table because I have coasters and I have one, two, three, four five pots that I want to display where the prints were. So I'm going to see if I can make it work using just a stand. This stand doesn't go on the table, it just kind of stands upright. So I'm going to attempt to do that because I need to figure it out. And if that doesn't work then I'm going to have to like reconfigure. I thought about bringing another table but I just don't have enough room in my car. So I'm trying to condense everything that I have. And if I can eliminate a stand, that gives me more room. Okay, so ignore my very, very messy room at the moment. I just have crap everywhere. But this is what I was thinking. So this is the stand that I was talking about. And I have the same prints, but they're also in five by seven. So I was thinking about doing something like this. I don't think I like that. Like having the print, having both prints like this. I don't know how I feel about that. So I could do that or what I could do is, which I was trying to avoid, but is to do something like this and then have, I guess, the corresponding prints go kind of like in the middle. So it would look like that and then I would put 
these ones down here somehow I don't know if this is gonna work guys and then just kind of do this see that that seems like too cluttered so I don't I don't want to do that I uh, don't know what to do okay there's one more option is I can move everything up and then put all of the prints the smaller prints down here you know what maybe I'll do that but then I have this like awkward space in the middle and I don't like that so if I do this then all these are down here and that actually fritz really well although you can't see the bottom I mean maybe I could like stagger them a bit I don't know I just have this like space here and I don't necessarily like that maybe I can put my signage in the middle but I actually don't mind this at all I mean I could like stagger them a bit so it's not as so you can kind of see them better I think I figured it out oh moved way too fast oh my god <laughs> okay i'm gonna move you down so i just put the smaller prints down here which i don't mind so the only thing with this is i think if i want to do this i want to get something to put like a rug like a really thin rug to put underneath of the display because just to like try to keep dirt from clinging to the plastic because they are so close to the ground I think I would feel more comfortable doing that I think this is the best option and that way I can eliminate the other stand on the table and then I could put my pots where that stand used to be and that way I don't have to bring another table okay I like this I like this a lot and I think by staggering them people can kind of still see them I really wanted to bring the sunflower print I mean the um, sand dollar print but I don't think I have enough room so I guess the sand dollar prints not coming <laughs> we're just gonna stick with the Lake Tahoe print and then maybe once and if that one sells out then I'll do the sand dollar I think for the rest of the night I am going to paint pots which are currently all over here along with my coasters last night I went to bed way too late I had to get up at six and it was rough getting up I ended up painting all of the coasters I just have one I think one yeah one set to seal and then I ended up outlining what the design that I want to do on the pots so this one if you can kind of see it are mushrooms so I'm probably gonna do those red because I think if I do orange it's gonna be really hard to see and then I ended up doing tulips which are super super cute and then I have one more small pot that I want to do and I think what I want to do is I want to have just like little flowers coming up and then do ladybugs on the top or have this top be a honey honeycombs and then have little bees throughout I'm leaning towards the flowers and the ladybugs though but I think that the bees would be really really cute I'm gonna paint them all today because I have to seal them tonight so they have at least a day to cure and I have a feeling it's going to be a long night enjoy this very long time lapse of me painting four pots I'm gonna include the monstera leaf pot that I painted a few days ago
it's the next day. I stayed up very late last night painting pots or finishing painting pots. I wanted to finish them yesterday so I could seal them so they have at least 24 hours to cure or to let the sealer kind of cure. The thing with the sealer that I use for my terracotta pots, which I don't even know if it's a sealer, but I use it because it works really, really well. It is really stinky and it kind of lingers in the pot. So I like to have the pot sit outside or in my garage for at least a few days before I sell it. So the pot doesn't really have that smell anymore. But because I'm sealing them like a day before, they're gonna kind of smell but I really want to bring them. So I'm kind of on the fence of what to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bring them. And the, the market's outside. So, and I don't think people are gonna be like sticking their nose in the flower pot, you know? I'll, if somebody buys it, I'll warn them. I made a matcha. I still have the freaking giant kink in my shoulder or neck that hurts so bad. It hurts when I walk which is so unfortunate. I honestly, I don't know what I did. I think I just like re kinked it. You know when you have a kink and you move your arm wrong and then it just like shoots pain and it becomes like five times worse? That's what happens. I still have trouble like lifting my arm. It's a little better, but I just, so over it. I've never had a kink this bad. I have Mark like massage my back shoulder area like twice a day and that does help but I just I don't know. I don't know. So I said that I was going to show you guys the pots. I ended up packing them away because I wasn't thinking but I ended up taking videos luckily took videos of them for like social media and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert those now and then hopefully I can get some footage, more footage of them at the market. But I am so, so happy with them. The last one that I did was the small little bee one and I ended up painting the rim yellow and I wish that I would have painted the rims on the other ones. I'm happy with how they turned out and I just know that when I'm, I guess when I'm going to repaint them. I'm gonna do the rim. I don't know how well they're how well they're gonna do with the crop fair. If they don't sell, I think I'm gonna put them on my website and just have one available. Cause how much I would want to keep them, I don't necessarily want them. I mean, if I want a terracotta pot, I can always paint one for myself. But I know that a lot of people have been expressing interest in them, so I think I wanna get those up. If they don't sell, we'll see. I have, I can't even really turn. Maybe you can see. There's a pile behind me. My, I got my card stand here. And then, hold on, let me just show you. Okay, ignore my extremely messy room. Just bypass the floor. But I have my stand here. This is my cash fanny pack and then my jacket because San Francisco's known to be very windy and then I got this little rug f to go underneath the stand right here because the bottom tier of this rack touches the ground and I just think a, like having a carpet would be nice. But I have that, I have my purse, this I bought for packaging because San Francisco doesn't allow plastic bags and I mean I can just use that anyways. And then this bin is full of my displays. This is my banner and then these are all the pots and coasters which I didn't even think about when I was packing them. I forgot I was going to show them. I have my business cards. I have this box. I think I'm going to put my sun catchers in it. And then these are my little display things for my prices. I don't really like these, but I got them off of Amazon really cheap. So I think I'm going to eventually do something else. But I have these for now. And then this 
is a really cute display. I'm not sure. I think I might put my glass paintings on this. I haven't really decided. I'm going to put my coasters on this display here. And then in the bottom bin, I have my tablecloth and then my paper bags. I have a large bag and a small bag and just kind of extra packaging. So I think I'm ready, which is kind of nice because I feel like last time I was preparing for a craft fair, I was up to like maybe 1 a.m. And I have it done the day before. So I think I'm doing good. I do want to make a checklist, but... Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys down. Okay, that's a lot better. My arm is just not not doing well with the kink in my back. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I wanted to make a digital checklist for everything to bring for the fair because I <clears throat> wanna do more fairs in the future. I might have like an indoor checklist and then an outdoor checklist, depending on certain things I need, like tents and a carpet and whatnot. I think that would be very helpful just to have the basics so I can just go down and check so I don't forget anything because the last thing I need is to like forget oh my god my like paint my credit card payment or I just I don't want that to happen so I am probably gonna go ahead make that I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or tomorrow or after the fair but I do want to make that I think that would be extremely helpful for me for my brain <laughs> i haven't put those roses anywhere oh you know what maybe i'll bring those that would be cute like find a cute vase or something i have a few vases that i can put it in uh, and like put it on my table maybe i'll do that although it might be windy so maybe not but that's a thought for next time but they're currently up there because my cat tries to eat them. My money tree is thriving. My bag of trash and Amazon package that I need to return are right back there. But this is my like plant corner and I'm so happy with it. My plants are thriving, which I could not be more happier about. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double check that I have everything probably make that checklist just for my sanity and I'll see you guys maybe at the craft fair I'm bringing a tripod and maybe a, I'll do a time lapse I'm gonna try my best to get some footage we'll see but if not tomorrow then I will see you after okay have a good day and I will see you soon bye mm -hmm.